YouTube, the Super CDAC here, and uh, here I have my Lego City. So as you can see, it's got a lot of detail. It actually didn't take too long to build. Uh, it's also got some vehicles in there. So I'm going to start off by just giving you a quick 360 degree look. Alright, so there's a train station, school there with bus stop, I have crossroads, and there's a street lamp on every corner. Uh, I think it's a disco or a bath, forgotten which I made it, or pub, whatever. Um, yeah, TV station, police house, uh, just general houses, nothing too special. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the vehicles I made with it and then going to have a bit of an in-depth analysis of each of the quarters. So let's get to it. So I have four vehicles, let's just get them out, two of them are fairly big, a couple of them small so we have here just a lorry uh, here is a school bus as you might have guessed by the sirens this is a police car and this is just your average citizen car if you know what I mean and yeah I've used a certain element on the end and I've just put black studs for the wheels and I've used black for the actual windows themselves. Okay, so if I just move those over there. So let's start off with the train station. As you can as you can see I've adopted the beige and dark blue colour scheme. Um, here is just two train tracks and these are the buffers and this is just a little platform for the people waiting for the train so yeah it's actually quite hollow inside I haven't bothered putting any interior in here because that would just be really hard uh, the school here I kind of got inspired by Jaystifer's school and I kind of got inspired by the city not city, um, the fire brigade, the fire brigade set, I can't speak today, so as you can see there's a, just a bell tower there, uh, the colour scheme matches the school bus, it's just got white windows in there, I've actually used Erlings in there, I thought I'd put the bus stop just here because, well it is a school, Many people come by bus. I've just put the green base plate, well not base plate, I really can't talk today. Just a 2x4 here uh, to sort of resemble a playground. Because we have one at school. So. so with the nightclub here, I haven't just gone and made it a random colour scheme because I felt like it and I was really lazy. I've done it because that's the kind of thing you would see at a pub because in a pub you usually party around so you know colours of a disco ball or I might uh, put them here so that turned out very well TV station very simple just got a window and an antennae there and a flat roof the police station or police house, it's actually quite complex. We have sirens here because when uh, vehicles are nearby, they need to signify that the garage here is open. Up. This can actually open up, as you can see. I'm not sure if the police car can actually fit in there, but it's pretty cool anyway. Now. Just got a satellite dish there for interrupting enemy transmissions, whatever. Uh, so there's a garden here, it's just on a 2x, 
four by four um, plate and I just used tone elements with brown studs underneath so they resemble trees. These houses here, um, they've got a pretty cool colour scheme. I think this has got the same colour scheme as the family home. Same one as the apple tree house and that just kind of looks like a chimney even though they've got their own chimneys. But yeah. That is my Lego cityscape or mini Lego city, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching. See you later. Bye.